Akuto Sai enrolls at Constant Magic Academy to make the world a better place. There, he meets Junko Hattori, a virtuous ninja clan member. They promise to improve the world together on the journey to the academy. But when he gets there, things quickly get worse because it is foretold that he will transform into the Demon King. The school starts to fear him as word of his fate spreads, and Junko's faith in him begins to waver. Even while Akuto is adamant that his prophecy destiny won't dictate his course in life, it seems as though everything he says does serve to confirm that he will eventually become the Demon King. Additionally, he is surrounded by a harem of stunning women, each of whom has different objectives for him, from bringing him to justice to simply just showing him affection. Korone, whom the principal instructed to remain with Akuto as a bodyguard and a judge of whether or not he will indeed become a Demon King, is present when Akuto meets with the Academy's headmaster. The following day, Akuto meets with Fujiko Eto, who promises to support him despite his fate. Later, she suggests they meet in secrecy in the mountains behind the school, and gives him instructions on how to take Korone offline. Akuto and Korone are ambushed while traveling by a mana mutated dog known as a demon dog. Korone is amazed by Akuto's ability to absorb the creature's mana and transform it into a puppy. The dog detects Kana's scent, revealing her capacity to turn invisible. Akuto meets Fujiko in the mountains after deactivating Korone, where she invites him to participate in the school's disciplinary committee to clear his record. She also offers him a two-shot magical gun that fires healing tablets as a last-ditch effort to make amends with Junko. She promises that this will let the two individuals it shoots comprehend one another's emotions. He gets tackled by Kenna on the way back while trying to avoid the puppy and is made visible and exposed in full view of the now-reactivated Korone. Kenna offers him friendship in return for his testimony to Korone, that Akuto did not attempt to molest her, and he accepts. At the conclusion, Fujiko is seen phonally accusing Akuto of having threatened her and calling Junko. After that, Fujiko goes through a hidden door in her room and meets with her brother's severed head to discuss her plans for Akuto. Hiroshi tells Akuto about the school's underground as they enjoy a late night dip in the men's bathhouse. He also notes that Junko achieved fame at the school by opposing this underground. The following afternoon, as Fujiko sets up a meeting between Akuto and Junko, Akuto meets with the student council to discuss his request to serve as the representative of the disciplinary committee. To meet with Junko, Akuto must deal with Korone, and she decides the only way to get her out of the way is by pulling her tail once more. This causes an argument, but Kenna breaks it up by dumping a rice cooker on Akuto as a sign of friendship, and because she was forbidden from keeping it in her room. Akuto quickly defeats the underground members during the meeting with Junko, only for Junko to reappear after the battle. She accuses Akuto in front of the entire school of misbehavior, and leads many students to pursue Akuto after them. Before Junko can finish administering her harsh justice, Kenna steps in. The mob calls Junko out for returning to Akuto's side, after she acknowledges that the situation went out of hand and that she contributed to the misunderstanding that led them to pursue Akuto. Korone calms the scene by throwing rice that has been drugged at the irate pupils. Akuto and Junko are able to become friends again thanks to Kenna's intervention, but he again knocks her out during a mana control lesson. He should enter the mental discipline chamber, where people are rumored to have perished. Akuto experiences depression, but Korone and Kenna accompany him for some unexplained reason, placing him in the middle of their conflict. Kenna is intrigued intrigued by a mystery map they discover, and wonders whether it might be a treasure map. Fujiko sees the true nature of the map. The map is copied the following day, and Kenna posts it all throughout the school, because students continuously get harmed while searching for riches. It becomes the buzz of the entire institution. As a disciplinary committee member, Akuto urges them to give up looking. But when a girl named Aiko Teruya emerges out of nowhere, he is forced to find it on his own. To locate the location of the map, Akuto, Korone, Hiroshi, and Aiko enter the school's underground labyrinth. They run upon a cloaked entity that uses swarms of bats to try to stop them, but is quickly overcome. They are led to an abandoned research facility by a floppy recording device that Akuto unearths, where an armored statue ambushes them. Aiko discovers a screen inside the statue directing her to a hidden shrine behind a cavern hot spring. In the meantime, Fujiko, Kenna, and Junko travel to the labyrinth. According to Junko, Aiko is a government snitch who plunged into the hot spring underneath and found herself. A vicious wolf pursues them, but Kenna and Fujiko arrive and save them. Aiko hands Akuto a key from
from the shrine while in tears because she witnessed him favor Junko above her. When Fujiko turns the key, they are taken to the student council's headquarters, where the attacks are planned and carried out. It is made clear that the headquarters is the Demon King's base. Fujiko utilizes the artifacts her brother left behind to awaken the priceless dragon beast, Peter Hausen, to find out what her brother had forgotten. The dragon beast reenacts the incidents that led to Fujiko's brother's death in response to an unidentified catalyst, implied to be Kenna, which brings about Fujiko's collapse. Akuto confronts Peter Hausen passionately, quickly taking over as his new master against his will. The student council president then kisses him as a reward for discovering the hidden treasure first. Hiroshi discovers in a flashback that he is meant to be a hero. Korone departs after declaring that her goal is a failure, implying that she could not seduce and exert control over Akuto. Hiroshi's younger sister, Yukiko Miwa, visits Akuto to see if he really is the Demon King. Yukiko flees in despair when Akuto and Hiroshi both reject their fates. Later, Hiroshi reveals that a shrine within a cave with a sword carved out of stone is located beneath the fabled lake. A mana absorbing sea cucumber beast is awakened from the water by a mystery guy named Mr. X. Yukiko is taken prisoner by Mr. X, but Hiroshi and Kenna attempt to retaliate. Although Hiroshi is thrown into the water, Kenna is taken prisoner. Akuto and Junko save Yukiko and Kenna, but Mr. X orders the beast to obliterate the island's village before engulfing Akuto in anti-magic blast. Once Akuto discovers the reason for Mr. X's attacks, he shifts his focus to Junko, Yuriko, and Kenna. Fortunately, Korone returns just in time to halt Mr. X's assault. In the meantime, Hiroshi visits the shrine, retrieves the sword from the stone, and acquires heroic abilities. Hiroshi receives the name Brave from the sword and destroys the beast with a plasma-like blast. Korone acknowledges that she attempted to seduce Akuto in order to show him how to form an intimate connection with a person of status, like Junko. Albeit she had previously thought she had failed because it appeared like Akuto had fallen for Kenna. Akuto wonders if Kenna's hairpiece is the same one he gave her as an orphan. After killing a slug beast, Fujiko obtained a demon beast egg to control her own beast. Even so, a laid-back Kenna frequently skips class, much to Akuto's concern. When Akuto attempts to get Kenna to return to class, it is extremely difficult for him to recognize that Junko has affection for him. Kenna takes Fujiko's demon beast egg while she is sleeping, and it quickly hatches into a two-headed chicken beast. The beast dodges Akuto's attack attempts. Hiroshi swiftly destroys the beast before it can further harm the city. Later, Kurone advises a dejected Junko to talk to her parents about an Omiai to Akuto. It is agreed that an Omiai would be hosted in Junko's village without the input of either of them. Akuto is invited to the town by Junko because she wants to tell him she loves him, but is unable to. Akuto resolves to accompany her even though he is unaware of the marriage interview, since he feels guilty for the catastrophes he's made. There, they run across Junko Hattori's younger sister, Yuko. Not only is she revealed to be a pop star idol, but she also has a scar on her neck from being bit by a demon beast in the distant past. That evening, Junko gets ready and goes to his room to explain why he was invited to the village. When they witness Junko crying, several clan members start chasing Akuto, which causes yet another misunderstanding. As Akuto runs away, he is met by Aiko, who informs him that the gods have designated Kenna as a threat and have given her tribe orders to kill Kenna. Boichido Yamato, the head of the cabinet intelligence magic office prevents Kenna from being killed on the school grounds. He refers to her as the principle of identity and only appears interested in claiming her to rule the gods. Akuto summons himself to the school's grounds using his power, but he soon discovers Yamato is stronger than him. Fujiko shows up with a bunch of demon beasts and they all wreck the school grounds. Akuto can't get better from the damage Yamato did to him. Yamato's subordinate, 2V, goes to Aiko to gather the Hattori and Teruya clans for an epic fight against the Demon King. Fujiko saves Akuto and Kenna from Yamato and rides them on a three-headed dog beast to the student council offices. To stop what the government is doing, Akuto calls on Peterhausen for help and flies above the city. While Hiroshi fights Akuto, Junko and Yuko have to find the thing that caused the dragon beast to wake up. Akuto is attacked by an aircraft ship. Because of what 2V did, Akuto is then crushed by it. Lily stands outside the school grounds to stop the clan members from trying to kill the demon beasts in the area. When Yamato gets to the base, he takes Kenna away from Fujiko. Aiko 
protects herself with Junko and tells her to kill Lily. Even when nothing works, Lily keeps trying to kill Aiko. 2V makes his clones fight against the clan to get Lily to join his side. He gets away after Lily uses her most powerful move on him. When all seems gone, it turns out that Akuto survived the attack from the aircraft carrier by 2V. Junko pulls out the family sword that her grandmother gave her so she can help the Demon King for love. Hiroshi and Akuto fight in the sky. Akuto beats Hiroshi and takes him to a bush so Yuko can care for him. While this was going on, Yamato took Kenna to the shrine and tried to make a deal with the principle of identity. However, Akuto showed up and the fight started before the gods. In the end, Akuto beats Yamato and gets Kenna back. He finds out that the gods made the Demon King to make a deal with the principle of identity and kill all people. Akuto refuses and says he wants to kill the gods, which sets off their defense system. Akuto is willing to risk his life to fight the gods and end the story they have made. Peterhausen gives Kenna a dragon tooth to remind him that his death was already planned. Akuto and Kenna reconnect with Junko, Kurone, Hiroshi, Fujiko, Lily, and Yuko. Everyone starts a new term at the academy. The battle of the Demon King changed everyone's memories, except for Akuto, who is immune because he is the Demon King. But Akuto is again told that he is the future Demon King. Junko and the others respond the same way they did the first time they met suggesting that Akuto will have to start over with the same reputation and problems. Do you believe Akuto can escape his fate? Please share your thought with us in the comments below. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.